All right, you guys, we are back with an iced coffee that I've made my way into. We are doing Tucson Crystal Hall part two. If you have not seen part one, go ahead and check that out. I will link it in the description box below. But we are gonna go ahead and start with this mystery bag. <laughs> I don't remember what's in here and I don't remember what I bought because it's been over three weeks, I think, since I got it. So let's jump in. So we have a lot to get through today. I may do three parts if this video gets too long. Ooh! These are from the Mexican supplier. These are like so gorgeous, so high quality. They're blue green fluoride from Mexico. Gorgeous rainbows on them. And if you guys can hear some chewing noises, that's my dog. So sorry, but that's the way to keep her quiet <laughs> while I do these unboxing. We have a, another gorgeous palm stone right here. This one, these are really big in general. These are not your, your average size palm stone. Super gorgeous. And just to, for full transparency, I believe this piece right here has been repaired, but you guys repaired crystals are not defective crystals. They're not any less powerful or any less anything. It's just that they didn't have enough material to polish. So they put a little bit of a filler here. So it's not going to be any cheaper because it's still a very high quality piece, but just wanting to point that out when I do see repairs, I do try to call it out. But again, this was good enough for me so to sell and it's good enough for someone to own it so don't 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 sleep on repaired crystals they are a-okay this is the spider web obsidian it is so freaking cool i've actually never seen or sold this material before so i'm so excited to bring this to you super rare find so the spider web obsidian i believe i got quite a few of those spider web obsidians look at how beautiful the line work and line quality on this is and again, this is all natural. Super, super cool. I love these. I try to get a few sizes, so this one's obviously quite a bit smaller than that one. This might be another fluorite. Look at that. Whoa. That one's gorgeous with the rainbow. And this one's not been repaired. That's just a natural bug in the crystal. Super normal. Here's another bug right here. And these do appear slightly more blue on camera. They're a little bit more green in person, but they are stunning. Look at the translucency on that. Wow. These are incredible. Beautiful pieces. Mexican fluoride is my absolute favorite. I swear it just has the best look and best quality in my opinion. Yes, look at that. This one's like really green. Some of the webbing is a little more blue this one's really bright green look at that this is just my fog from my heat that's reacting to the cold crystal stunning a few of these look at the rainbows i got a few of these juicy big tumbles look at them they're super super juicy this one has a little like dent in it almost but it's still really good oh look at the rainbows they're a little bit more rough they're not like fully tumbled look at those they were just so high quality and the rainbows if you can hear some other chewing in the background my other dog is eating so it's just a noisy video look at those though incredible in freaking incredible Gorgeous. And then again, this one has just a little bit of a repair. This may actually be Matrix right here, but just to be transparent, but they're still really gorgeous. Like insanely beautiful, beautiful pieces. And this, if you guys are curious where this vendor is, this vendor was at the Red Lion Inn inside. So I'm so glad I actually went in there and found him. There's a lot of suppliers from Mexico but some charge a lot of money <laughs> for this material. So he had really decent prices on this material, which I will be passing on to you guys. Look at these fluorite hearts. Well, I just got one. I think I got maybe one or two. Oh, there's a little rainbow right there. And then another little spider web tumble free form. Ooh, this one's really gorgeous. 
These are so nice. Stunning pieces. This one's so clear right there. The depth on these are just like nothing I've ever seen before. Look at how beautiful they look. These are two more of the high quality fluorite hearts. Absolutely gorgeous. These are also cut and polished, sourced and carved in Mexico. Look at that. I just got a handful of these tumbles, which I kind of regret. I wish I would have gotten more, but fluorite is a very heavy material, you guys. And when you're carrying everything back home on the plane, every pound, every ounce counts. So look at those. Stunning. Ooh, and then we got one more super gorgeous heart. These are all so flashy and the most insane color. Like, look at that in the lighting. Some more obsidian spider web, palm stone. This one almost has some gold sheen and spider web. How cool is that? And then I got a ton of little stuff in here. These are tumbled spider web. So let me pull a few out so you can see. The bag just says, made in Mexico, made in Mexico. <laughs> So these are these spiderweb tumbles and I got quite a few. I just hand picked a bunch of them, but they're just super cool in case you don't want a big one. I got a little one because obsidian is so good for grounding, protection, so many things and the spiderweb obsidian is super unique. So I picked up some of those and then I did, I was able to find some mini obsidian pieces for less expensive than I normally get them. I may not have the best light to show these in, but I will photograph them. So we have this one. This one's just a little free form, I believe. Then we got this one, which is so cute. It's a little daisy or a little flower. Tulip, maybe. Got another little tulip. Got a butterfly. This one has yellow or gr yellow, green, blue. Really pretty. Got another butterfly. This one has an orange and green and blue center. We got two more. I love the little butterflies. Ooh, look at the flash. These are actually really colorful and really flashy. We just don't have the brightest of sun today, but I still think they actually come across pretty nice on camera. So this one's like so gorgeous. It's like every color of the rainbow. Stunning. So that was everything that I got from this obsidian vendor. Let's move on to the next supplier, which will be a completely different set of material. All right, you guys, we got our next haul from Black Market Minerals. I do not remember what is in here at all. <laughs> So let's open it up and find out. These are so cool. They are just super cool agate towers, but the white is actually a dye and I did not know that. I thought they weren't dyed, but they're still really gorgeous. This one has a little bit of raw on it. Gorgeous patterning. So I did get a few of these. These are from Brazil. So this is the next one. Look at how it drews. You can see right through it has a portal and just gorgeous. This one's almost all white, but you can see the banding through it. Beautiful piece. Ooh, I love that one. So this is the next one. Super sparkly, really gorgeous quartz through there. I tried to get all nice tips, no broken tips, but a lot of them had broken tips, unfortunately. So that's why I only ended up getting a handful of these babies. Super gorgeous. This is the next one. Look at how sparkly that is. This was like my favorite one. This one does not have a dye on it and it has not been dyed. This one is completely natural. It was just too beautiful not to get. I love the colors on this. Very fire sign. This is the next one. Again, gorgeous druzy. Super cool. I love the white dye. I know, I know some people don't like treated crystals, but I think these are absolutely gorgeous. The quartz station on the back is so pretty. And this is the last one I got. So gorgeous and moody. It's a big druzy pocket right there in the front. Super gorgeous on the back. I absolutely love these. So cool. And you guys, the reason I have them flipped over is there's already 
the prices on the front, but I just don't wanna share pricing in this video. I just wanna share the crystals. So that's why they're flipped over. You'll see the pricing on the website when it goes live and everyone will see the prices at the same time. So that's why they're <laughs> turned over like not anything but that. Okay, so let's move on to the next vendor. The next one is Jan Minerals. Here's their information. They're out of New York, but they have a lot of material from Afghanistan and Pakistan and Indonesia. They're great. Not all of the crystals in here are from them though. There's some other Brazilian material in here. So let's open it up. I just wanted to show this <laughs> super cool bag. Starting with these that I don't remember what these are. So let's find out. Hopefully nothing is broken. Oh yay! Okay, so these actually are from Jan Minerals and I'm glad these didn't break. These are little Baden crystals. How cool are these? They form in like this chain formation and they're just so stinking cute. I got just like two baby ones because they're, they're not super expensive, but they're pretty uncommon to find, especially not broken. So I wanted to get some little mini ones so people could make pendants or if you have a smaller budget, that was kind of the intent there. And then we got this little baby. <laughs> this is super cool. This is Micah dressed. I always like to say they're dressed because they look like they're wearing little gowns. This is Micah dressed with fluorite, which is actually really uncommon to see fluorite with mica growing like this. So I just got this little baby specimen. I thought it would be really fun for someone who's looking for something a little bit more rare, but has a smaller budget. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad this didn't break either. I was like not very cognizant when I packed these. I forgot these were in here, but it just goes to show how strong Baden Quartz is. So here is a bigger chain connection for the Baden. And then we got this guy. I think this one is an aqua. So this one is a mica dressed aqua, which is so freaking cool. Look at that, none of those points broke, thank goodness. But I've always wanted one of these. I thought they were really cool but one of you will be able to get it. Super nice quality aquamarine dressed in mica. So I thought these were super cute. And the florite one, again, super uncommon, but really, really special pieces. We got a mini guy right here. Yes, <laughs> this one is so cute. This is an adorable little bicolored tourmaline thumbnail. And I believe it's just on a smoky, but it has the bicolored or watermelon tourmaline, but it's blue and pink and it's just so pretty. Precious. I got this one from All Crystals from Brazil. And it also has a little bit of lapidolite on it. So it's just a darling little piece. I think that'll go good in anyone's collection who's looking for something rare but doesn't necessarily have the budget for something huge. Oh, these, okay. These also really cool. These are topaz, really high quality. And look at the rainbows, aren't they cool? I love these. I've never had topaz before, so. I was like, I have to try. It looks very similar to aquamarine. Like, look at how similar they look. So these are the topaz pieces. These are gonna be a little expensive, you guys. I tried to get some smaller ones with rainbows. So like this one will be a lot more affordable. I didn't realize how heavy topaz is, which obviously these are all priced per gram by weight. So these will also be priced per gram, but super cool. The energy on these is so soothing. Here's the last one I picked up. You can see just how clear it is. Absolutely stunning. So those are the high quality topaz pieces. Ooh, and I also picked up these Rutile. These were again, pretty expensive, but they're pretty spectacular. So look at that, holy Hannah. Wow, I haven't had high quality rutile in a while and these are purely rough self-healed on the bottom. Look at that, they're not polished you guys. These are just straight out the ground like that. Oop, I think I saw a rainbow. There's some hematite on here, but oh, these, I hope it's picking up how clear and beautiful those are. And then I also got this one. So look at the rutile on that. This is like a really gold rutile. Super pretty. And you can display these in water and it will pop the pop the rutile even more. But yeah, these are incredible. This one had really just gorgeous thick 
golden root tile, so that's why I picked that one up. I did get a few more of those. Got another mystery piece here. Oh, these are rough topaz. These ones are just as pretty. Look at these. Uh, color is stunning. And you guys, these are by Graham too, so they're gonna be pricey, but they're cool. They're beautiful. So these are same material up here. So these were the other little retail pieces I got. So I got some little ones because these are gonna be a little bit pricey. So I tried to get some smaller ones. So this is one of the smaller ones. So cute. You can see where the retail is growing. Got that little cluster. Then we got this little guy. This has a lot of retail for how little it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But he should be pretty affordable. Got this one. This one's almost a DT. Double terminated, naturally double terminated. This one is a smoky too with rutile. Just full of rutile. This one's a smoky. Almost a double terminated point. But you can tell it's not polished because of those striations. Really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. You can tell the striations right there, making it unpolished. Put this one right here. And we got this one. Super gorgeous rutile. Look at that. I think I think these kind of all like sit in a certain way, so I think this one sits like this. Absolutely stunning. This one has lots and lots and lots of gold and has a little crystal growing on the side. Almost a DT as well. Stunning. And then I did get a few rough watermelon tourmaline pieces with lipidolite, might I add. So this is lipidolite with watermelon tourmaline on a raw piece of quartz. These are just really pretty, just natural pieces. I love these, they have really good energy. So I just got a few of these. Here's another one. This one has a very bright, blue tourmaline with pink tourmaline. This almost looks like candy. And this one is really special, the green and pink tourmaline, rough on quartz. And they're pretty big and decent sized. So those are those. Okay, so the other thing that I got from the supplier, lavender moon quartz, and I got like 300 grams. This is the best quality I was able to find. This is the same quality I had as in Denver. And I literally handpicked all of these. I tried to pick all of them with rainbows or super dark color, but they're stunning, you guys. Absolutely stunning. So I did get some bigger ones. And you guys, these are priced by Graham, so they're they're not gonna be cheap, but it's just, it's hard to find this material, this quality and with rainbows. So, just giving you a forewarning, but I did get a lot of it. Here's just a small sampling of what I got. I did get some smaller pieces too, for those on a, a tighter budget, but I did get some big pieces for those who want to splurge. I wasn't able to find like huge pieces like I did in Denver, but I will try to connect with him again in Denver. He only sells at the gem shows, so I'm so glad I got some, but these mostly all have rainbows. I'll try to list the ones with rainbows or the bigger ones. I think most of them will be sold by Graham and then any big special ones will be individually sold. So yay. And I still got a lot in here. Look at how gorgeous. Okay, and I also wanted to show you guys my two showstopper pieces. <laughs> these I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell cause they, just to be totally transparent, you guys, these are gonna be about $2,500 each. So if you are a serious buyer, I will entertain it, but if you're not, that is a okay. <laughs> but just so you know the, the price point. So this is my gorgeous Kunzite. This was from Jan Minerals. I bought my big aquamarine from him a couple years ago. But this thing that's so special about this is A, it's covered in rainbows. Covered in rainbows. Yeah, look at that. See those? So the whole thing is covered in rainbows, which is kind of crazy for Kunzite. You don't normally see Kunzite just like covered in rainbows. And it's a 
hearts. Isn't that cool? It's just an unbelievably remarkable piece. This is a, just like freshly pulled out of the mine. He had these and a few others that were more blue, blue purple, but just this piece is like insane. So again, they're about $2,500 for this piece and the next piece I'm gonna show, but the heart kunzite is pretty freaking incredible. <laughs> So there's the heart kunzite, and then I have one more piece of barrel that I'm going to show you guys. That is another knock your socks off, stunning, holy heck piece. And it's, I don't know if I'll, I'll honestly, I don't know if I'll part with this piece. And you'll see why when I show you. And a lot of you, if you've watched my vlogs, you've seen her. But look at this. <laughs> I mean, it's so incredible. Oh, I almost dropped it. It's like not polished at all, but it has like this glistening in the sun. And then like when you turn it this way, it's so freaking cool. And I asked him what those points are in there. I, I think it's rutile, but I'm not, I'm not actually sure what all those little itty bitty points are in there. If that's just how the barrel was growing. So if you know, if you're an expert, let me know. But oh, look at that, look at her. So again, this piece would be like around 2,500. Serious inquiries only. I still don't know if I'll sell it for that, honestly, because I, I love her. Like, how can you not? These two pieces were like my best find at the, the Tucson Gem show. All right, so we still have more to unbox. So let's get on to the next stuff. There's not gonna be anything quite as amazing as this, but there is some lithium and some other really, really cool crystals I wanna share with you guys. So let's get opening those. Hey, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a crystal business? Don't know where to start or feel a lack of community? Well, guess what, you guys? I have a Patreon that has access to a private community and Discord server for just $18 a month. You can learn from other businesses, make friends, learn along with me, and topics include pricing, shipping, Shopify, Etsy, and so much more. So head over and join us on Patreon for just $18 a month. Everything is linked in my bio.